All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to talk about Pow World. Now, I don't really cover gaming news too often on this channel, but Pow World is just too big to ignore. And now the Pokemon Company is apparently launching an investigation into Pow World's designs. Yes, because there were so many complaints. There were so many people trying to take down Pow World all in the name of Nintendo that all of a sudden now the Pokemon Company is taking an investigation. It, it is not shocking to see that they're actually doing this because there are some designs and we're going to get into it there are some designs that are so obviously ripped off from pokemon but ultimately i am not agreeing with any of this investigating or this backlash or whatever the case may be i'm not agreeing with any of it and i'll explain so let's get into this article guys from bounding into comics but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it like the video to push us out into the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing to my manga channel the links are in the description box below in my link tree i will love to see you there now apparently they're running an investigation into power world designs after receiving many inquiries about alleged ip infringement this is something that uh I don't necessarily agree with, okay? And here's the reason why. So Nintendo as a whole is known, as a company anyway, is known for being in the, in the medieval time. They cannot get with the age of the internet. It is literally impossible. They have been doing the same thing over and over and over again. And listen, that's fine. You know your client base, you know your customer base, no problem. Power World came out with their own game, obviously inspired by Pokemon, obviously, okay, I'll give it that. Obviously, it's inspired by Pokemon, but ultimately, it is a different game. There are different mechanics, there are different creatures, different names, different everythings. It could be inspired by Pokemon, but ultimately, it is a different game. And Power World saw an opportunity that Nintendo has slept on for fucking decades, ladies and gentlemen. Nintendo has been sleeping on the fact that people have been asking for an online multiplayer game of Pokemon. That, that would have been a smash hit. You know how I know that would have been a smash hit? Because look at all the success that, that Power World is having. Pokemon completely slept on it, and Power World took it up. It is not Power World's fault that Nintendo has slept on this entire idea. They knew this is what people wanted for a long time. They knew this would have been a massive success, but they're too busy pushing Pokemon games on their own particular consoles. And listen, that's great. That's fine. I understand. But there is a massive market out there that Nintendo slept on, and Power World is now enjoying the benefits of that. If you are going to sue Power World for being IP infringement against Pokemon, then and you might as well sue every other IP that was ever inspired by another IP. A lot of people say Harry Potter was inspired by Lord of the Rings. You're going to go sue Harry Potter for IP infringement? No, obviously not. The same thing here with Power World. It is a completely baseless argument that people who are just either Nintendo super fans, right? Or they work for Nintendo or maybe they're Nintendo themselves. They're salty. That's basically it. They're salty as fuck because they are not getting what they actually wanted, which was a Nintendo online game. And so some other company came out with a similar IP, made it online for everybody to enjoy, and now it's got millions of concurrent players and sold millions of copies. Like, this is... This is Nintendo's inherent problem with their company, but let's get into what they're actually doing. So it says, after receiving a flood of inquiries, ostensibly sent to Nintendo-owned franchises fans out of nothing more than a self-assumed duty to blindly defend the stagnating game series refusal to innovate, that, bro, that comment right there is exactly what I'm saying, dude. This is exactly what I'm saying. They refuse to do anything different other than what they've been doing forever. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. You obviously know your client base, no problem, but you cannot then get mad when someone comes out with a similar content and do it online on PC and they're blowing up for it. You can't get mad. You, you slept on it. That is your fault. It says, alleging IP infringement by the newly released title, the Pokemon company has announced that they will be officially undertaking a copyright investigation into Pocket Pair Inc.'s Power World monster design. First announced in June of 2021, Power World is a monster-catching open-world survival game. Think Pokemon meets Arc Survival Evolved, wherein players are tasked with collecting various pals to help them in exploring and surviving the local Palapagos Islands. To this end, after capturing a given pal in the pal sphere, players can then assign their new companions to perform various tasks around their local camp including but not limited to farming fighting and forced labor the latter usually done in service of manufacturing more items or developing the production and defense capabilities of one's home base but while most such monster catching titles force players to rely solely on their monsters to engage with their respective combat elements power world instead invites them to get into the action themselves and fight alongside their companions using a variety of weapons ranging from fists to swords to full-on firearm thanks to both it's offering of what can be best described 
described as more expansive take on Pokemon Legends Arceus, which notably drew high praise for actually pushing the franchise in the open world direction many had long hoped it would eventually take, and players wildly found themselves frustrated with the lack of effort put by Pokemon into their recent Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet entries that Power World's January 18, 2024 Early Access release was met with a tidal wave of success, selling over 1 million copies in its first 8 hours on sale. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this should show you that this is a massive market that Nintendo has pur purposefully ignored. They have purposefully ignored this market for many, many years, almost past a decade, I would even say. And by them ignoring this market, there has been a demand that's been growing and growing and growing, and Nintendo slept on that demand, and Power World ate it up like a champ. I give props to Power World for saying, you know what, if Nintendo's not going to do it, we're going to do it. And that's exactly what they did. They are literally banking on Nintendo sleeping. It is just amazing to me. And Nintendo can't do a fucking thing to stop them. No matter how much fanboys of Nintendo may want this to happen, and trust me, I love my Nintendo. I absolutely love Nintendo. Some of my favorite games are Nintendo IPs, man. But ultimately, I can also understand and recognize that this company is so stupid when it comes to modern day entertainment they are in the stone ages they don't even know what's happening half the time they're barely scraping by on their namesake and the ability to sell first party titles they are completely asleep at the wheel and they're just riding along based on their namesake everybody's gonna buy their mario everybody's gonna buy their zelda everybody's gonna get mario kart super smash brothers they know that so they're skating by on that but they cannot then get mad and neither can the fans of nintendo get mad because their company decided to fall asleep they, they can't do it it says in its week since release these metaphorical tides have only continued to rise for power world as of writing not only has the game sold over 8 million total copies but it also has set the record for the second highest consecutive player count of any paid steam game having posted a total of 2 million 18,905 tamers on January 24th. However, not all was dollar signs in Dancing for Power World, as though a very evident magnitude of players found themselves enjoying the game. There were a number, particularly the aforementioned Pokemon diehards, who responded to its success by attempting to poke any hole they could into its reputation. While this campaign saw a number of tactics deployed by critics, including accusing its art assets of being generated with AI due to simply to pocket pair Inc.'s CEO's own self-professed interest in the technology and vague vaguely claiming, as Naughty Dog senior artist Del Walker did, that it was made nefariously and by cheating, perhaps none was more prominent than which was saw their monster designs charged with being nothing more than wholesale ripoffs of various Pokemon. And again, I, I would not doubt that. I would not doubt. If you look at some of their creatures, it's very evident that you can take the word inspiration and stretch it extremely far to the point where you can basically damn near say that's a ripoff. But again, they are still a different game. It is still a different component complete system it is a different game entirely and even though it was heavily inspired obviously we all know that by pokemon there is no ip infringement they cannot claim ip infringement and they're only going to do so because they are mad that's all it is they are mad ladies and gentlemen and they're going to do everything they can to try to silence this giant and then eventually maybe they'll come out with their own version of the game that they should have came out with five years ago that they could have been banking on till this day but they chose to fall asleep i have no sympathy for Nintendo at all. Even though I love Nintendo, I have zero sympathy for how that company operates when it comes to online games, especially anything past their own systems. I have zero sympathy. They slept at the wheel, Power World decided to take the win, and that's what we're experiencing right now. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.